Hello, I am Per Omundsson and in this video we are going to visit Konserthuset, the Stockholm Concert Hall. This beautiful building was created by the famous architect Ivar Tengbom in the early 1920s and is perfectly located here at Hötorget or the Haymarket Square right in the middle of Stockholm. The Stockholm Concert Hall is the home of the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra with 105 musicians. Here playing Symphony No. 2 by the Finnish composer Sean Sibelius. Some of the greatest international stars of classic music come to play here, like the outstanding Juja Vang. The Stockholm Concert Hall also offers jazz and pop concerts. For example, the Stockholm Swing All Stars. Back in the 1980s, I went to concerts with the rock pianist Jeremy Lewis and the great singer Tom Jones in this hall. There are two concert halls in the building. The large hall and the Greenwald Hall, originally called the small hall an auditorium for chamber music. The large hall can seat an audience of 1,770 people. The pipe organ behind the stage was built in the early 1980s and used for the first time in 1982. It has 6,100 pipes and 69 voices. The tallest pipe is 11 meters tall. The front of this magnificent organ was designed by the architect Anders Tengboom, son of the architect Ivar Tengboom, who created the concert hall. For solo concerts, the organ can be played by remote control from a keyboard on the stage. The large hall is also where the Nobel Prize ceremony takes place on the 10th of December every year, except for the Nobel Peace Prize which is awarded in Oslo, Norway. The Stockholm Concert Society was founded in 1902, but the orchestra had no concert hall of its own at that time, so there were plans for a concert hall in Stockholm long before it was eventually built. After a competition for architects in 1921, the proposition by the famous architect Ivar Tengbom was chosen. He called his vision the Red Heart. The Stockholm Concert Hall was built during the years 1923 to 1926 and officially opened on April 7, 1926. The project was paid for by private donors, endowments and foundations. The Stockholm Concert Hall immediately became the home of the Stockholm Concert Society. Ivar Tengbom collaborated with several prominent artists for the decoration of the Concert Hall, most notably Karl Milles and Isaac Grinewald. Karl Milles was a famous sculptor, 
whose works were often inspired by the ancient Greek culture and mythology. A good example of this is the Orpheus group in front of the concert hall in the Haymarket Square. The Orpheus group was placed here in 1936, ten years after the opening of the concert hall. Works by Melis can also be seen inside the building, like these sculptures in the cafeteria. By the way, works by Melis can be seen in several places in Stockholm and at his home Melis Gordon on the island Lidinge, close to Stockholm. Melis Gordon is now a museum and I have made a video about it. Isak Grinevald was a famous Swedish painter who was chosen to decorate the small concert hall. His work here was inspired by the Italian palaces of the Renaissance. He painted the walls in this hall with motives from the history of music and from ancient Greek mythology. This painting in the ceiling shows the Greek god Apollo stretching for the beams of the sun, which are also the strings of a lyre. The little hall was renamed to the Grünewald Hall in the 1970s. Grünewald also designed the large carpet and the foyer of the Grünewald Hall. The motifs on the carpet are inspired by the ancient Minoan culture on the Greek island Crete. The original carpet eventually became worn out and was replaced with a replica in 1987. There is art everywhere in the building. This painting is a self-portrait by Isaac Grünewald. I wonder if he actually looked like this or just wished that he had. Besides Milles and Grünewald, several other artists have made contributions to the decoration of the concert hall. This is a frieze by Jördis Nordin Tengbom the wife of Ivar Tengbom. It is a tribute to the twins Ernst Davidson and Rosa Nachmanson, the two first donors that made the construction of the concert hall possible, and their names are written under the picture. This painting was donated to the concert hall by a rich American lady. I do not know the name of the artist nor the donor. Here is another one of the many paintings. I do not know the name of the painting or the artist who made it. In the summer you can visit the terrace on the roof of the concert hall with a guide. This is Svea Vägen, one of the big avenues in Stockholm, and this is Kungsgatan, another one crossing Svea Vägen. The two towers in the background are called the King's Towers. They bear some resemblance to the old skyscrapers on Manhattan in New York, but are not nearly as tall. Very small by comparison. This is Hertorget the Haymarket Square seen from above. The building on the opposite side of the square with the sign Haymarket used to be a Galleria but a few years ago it was converted to a hotel. And this is Särjelgatan, a shopping street for pedestrians only. On the terrace to the left, outdoor jazz concerts are sometimes arranged in the summer, but those events have nothing to do with the concert hall. In the summer of 2023, the Stockholm Concert Hall had an exhibition of photographs by the Chinese photographer Janan Li. This exhibition was called The Red Heart, after Ivar Tengum's original vision of the concert hall. Janan Li studied photography in Beijing in his youth, 
he became familiar with the Swedish Hasseldahl cameras and was so impressed by them that he moved to Sweden in the year 2000. In 2019, Janan Lee was asked to document the activities of the Stockholm Concert Hall and he continued this work during the pandemic in 2020. The result could be seen in this exhibition. I hope that you like this video and thanks for watching. See you.